Competition at this year's game, Logo Motion. Logo Motion is played on a 27 by 54 foot field. Alliances of three teams each operate their robots from behind alliance walls at the ends of the field. Four towers are located near the middle of the field at the ends of designated lanes extending from each corner. Two 3x3 three three arrays of scoring pegs form the scoring grids located in front of each alliance wall. Robots play Logomotion with inflated tubes shaped as elements of the first logo. The objective is to place the shapes on the scoring rack to create the logo. Robots can use their cameras to follow lines on the floor or to track the vision targets placed on each scoring rack. This allows them to target scoring locations from almost anywhere on the field. Before the match, each robot is placed behind the towers on their side of the field. Each robot begins the match with a yellow Uber tube. The match starts with a 15 second autonomous period, during which robots try to place the Uber tubes on the scoring rack. Each tube placed during this period earns bonus points. At the end of the autonomous period, human drivers step forward to take the controls. During this teleoperated period, teams control their robots and attempt to place the game pieces on the scoring rack. Game pieces can be placed anywhere, but are worth more if they create the first logo. Human players at the corners of the field put game pieces into play. Robots can only possess one game piece at a time, so they must drive the length of the field to score with each new game piece. Robots will try to make it into their alliance zone as they attempt to score. Opponents are not allowed to enter this zone and cannot interfere while robots are placing game pieces. Each game piece placed on the scoring rack is worth one, two, or three points. This value is doubled if the game piece covers an Uber tube. Each completed logo earns a 2x bonus for that row of game pieces. Near the end of the match, robots drive to the towers and deploy minibots on the tower poles. As the end game starts, minibots race to the top of the towers. That's sick. The first minibot to the top earns a 30 point bonus, 2nd place earns 20, 3rd place earns 15, and 4th place earns 10 points. Good luck, and we'll see you at the competitions.